We're gonna continue looking at half guard, but now we're gonna look at a pass. This is one of my favorite passes. It's a little bit sneaky. It uses your opponent's kimono, and my late instructor, Louis Tagno, showed it to me. Uh, he was really good at being sneaky and passing lapels around. So I'm gonna show it to you, get a lot of success out of it, and you know what? We can pass on his name uh, that way. All right, so I'm in half guard. This particular pass starts from the half guard reverse sit position. So he, maybe he's got that underhook, and I've sat my hips around. So I'm sitting here, I'm digging for the arm, you know, I want to control the legs. I've got him a little bit flat, and I'm afraid to move. He's good. It was a real struggle to get here, and I don't know how I'm going to get the rest of the way. He's seen all my other passes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start to feed his lapel out right here. Awesome. That's, that's half the battle, and that was actually pretty easy. So when he's in this controlling position, there's almost always a little pocket right here. I want to make use of that pocket, so I'm going to reach my hand through here, I'm going to feed that lapel nice and tight. It's important that we get as tight a grip as possible because we don't want him to be able to straighten out that leg very well. Now from here, we can do a lot of our different passes. If you want to do your bear crawl pass where you just bring that knee up and get control and bring that leg out, that's awesome. That's one option. But the way that Lewis showed it to me, we're going to turn all the way back in. When I turn in, I'm going to turn like I'm doing the underhook pass, all right? Just typical knee cut pass, head low, a lot of domination, but I don't have the underhook. He has the underhook. So this is my underhook proxy, all right? We want to try and keep him flat on his back, and I want to let my arms straighten out a little bit when I do it. And you see how that puts pressure up on your leg, Patrick? You see what I'm talking about? I feel it. That pressure up on the leg helps turn his back a little bit flat to the floor. One of the big problems I've had with this is that they start getting a little bit of angle and they can come out on the back. So we want to keep them as flat as possible, all right? So I'm going to start to turn, and when I turn, I'm going to put my head on the far side of his head, okay? So I'm going to turn, boom, my head comes to the floor, and you see how my arm is straightened out and it's taking him back flat to the floor. From here, I'm going to start turning in, I'm going to make space my tripod, just like my uh, knee cut pass, I'm going to cut my knee. I'm still holding on to that leg, and I sit through. Now, you know, I don't want to get embarrassed or anything right here. I'll turn right back in. I like to control this. Don't let your arm get arm barred or some crazy stuff. They might try to grab your arm. You can let go here and pull his hips into you, okay? Oh, he's got me in half guard. He's got the underhook. It's okay, I switch. Awesome, he took his arm back. So remember, I'm gonna feed in here, get that lapel out, and there's that little pocket right here. If they're really tight and there's no pocket, we can make a pocket by bringing that foot to the butt. Now it's easy to get that arm under. Nice, tight, deep bite right here. Now, remember, I'm going to turn my whole body. My head's going to go to the other side of his head, but I want to try and keep his back as flat as possible. A lot of that can be controlled with my hips as I start to turn. When I start to turn, look at how I'm pushing forward. Boom, my head goes down. I've still got a nice, tight, deep grip here. My arm is straight. I'm going to start to walk my butt up and come here. And you can see it'll be very difficult for Patrick to close his legs. If he does close his legs, even if he squeezes them, I get a lot of movement in there, a lot of space to get my hips out. Control, I like to turn it. All right, I'm in half guard. Patrick's got that underhook. Awesome, I reverse sit. Nice tight position. Oh, there's, no, there's a space, but I want more. Ha, foot up, bring that arm through. I'm going to feed his lapel to my hand. Nice tight grip. Make sure you get all the slack out of that. And look at how it bananas his legs. Even if he had his legs cross him to begin with, Right? Even if he's got them crossed, when I start to suck that slack out of him, see how it even lifts his hips off the floor? Awesome. From here, I'm going to turn my whole body. I'm going to put my head on the outside. From here, I'm going to lift. Knee cut past. My arm is still back there. My whole body is on this side. From here, make sure you turn. Turn back. Reverse sit. Nice and tight. Walk that foot up. Get that arm through. I'm going to feed his lapel as deeply as I can. From here, look, I'm turning my body. Look, I don't take any weight off. I'm not lifting up. I'm actually pivoting on my pelvis and on my thighs. Now my head goes to the floor. Bottom up, cut that knee, turn in, and back. Awesome pass, a little bit sneaky. A lot of people haven't seen it. Just watch out that they don't start moving away into that pocket out on the back. You can have a lot of success with this.